Hello and welcome back to the Sort Out SI channel with myself, the Flying Scotsman. Last week I put up a poll asking if you wanted to see a dynamic wide man or if you wanted to see a solid shot stopper and today we are looking at a solid shot stopper because that is what you voted for. However, if you are disappointed because you voted for the dynamic wide man, do not worry because that video will be coming out on my very own channel later this week. So make sure you subscribe to my channel as well as the Sort Out SI channel. The link to my channel will be down in the description. Anyway, today we're looking at Philip Jorgensen, who, as you can see here, he has a Danish flag. However, he is actually Swedish, so who knows? We might see him play for Denmark, we might see him play for Sweden. Who knows? It all depends on how good he becomes. I'll take a quick look at him first. As I said, solo shot stopper. He starts the game at Villarreal. However, you can sign him for £8 million, which at the end of this... 10 year simulation you can let me know down below if you think it's a bargain or not so transferred them over to ourselves for eight million pounds he has a potential range of 130 to 160 so what we have done as always is we have maxed out his potential ability to 160 to see if he can reach that over the 10 seasons to see exactly what the best looking philip jorgensen can be so as you can see looks very good already for a 20 year old he's six foot two he has decent handling, good communication, good agility, good jump and reach, great reflexes, you know, the sort of things that you want from a solid shot stopper. If you really want, you can take a, you get seventh for free kick taken, so for some teams that might be all right. Anyway, what we'll do is we will fast forward, as usual, one season, three seasons, five seasons, and then finally 10 seasons to see exactly how well he develops over these time frames. So let's jump ahead one season right now. Here we are at the end of the first season with Philip Jorgensen, as you can see, as I said, it is no longer a Danish flag there, it is a Swedish flag, because he has played two games for the Swedish national team. Unfortunately, looking at his attributes, he already seems to be going down, which is not ideal. Um, his agility is up to 16, communication 16, but everything else, unfortunately, seems to be going down other than his leadership, but, you know, that's not, that's not a necessity. Uh, but yeah, take a quick look. We will look through and see how he has progressed over the last year. Um, so overall, he's you know, aerial reach has gone up, perfect. Communication, perfect. Kicking, okay, depending on how you want, depending on how you like to play. And then you know, his throwing going up again, throwing and kicking going up. Distribution, what we need. Uh, so his position is going up, perfect. Concentration, decisions, brilliant. Agility is going up. Jumping each went down slightly, not great. Um, but overall, he, he. So, although it looks like it's going down, that's basically just looking at it right now, whereas obviously a lot of these have went up, but they're now taking a wee down a ton. Now, we'll take a look at his stats for the season just gone. So, he played a total of 43 games, 43 goals conceded, and he managed to get 18 clean sheets. So, not a bad return for his first season. We will now jump ahead to the end of season three and see how he's got on since then. Here we are at the end of season three. As you can see, he looks like a much more well-rounded goalkeeper than we last saw. Transfer value up to between 13 and a half and 18 and a half million pounds on 10,000 pounds a week, but he is unhappy about that and he wants a new deal. Take a look at his progress and see exactly how he's been doing all time. As you can see, going up in all the right areas. Area reach going up, command of area, communication, his reflexes, his handling, concentration, decisions, positioning, and he is physically starting to get better as they tend to get older in football manager you know as you know your physical attributes will get better so overall he is getting better and better each passing season he's now played 17 games for the swedish national side and if we look at the last two seasons you can see he played 47 games exceeded 47 goals 20 clean sheets and then his most recent season 55 games in all competitions 47 conceded and a whopping 26 clean sheets and going 20 in the league itself so we'll now go ahead to end of season 5 and see how he has developed at the age of 25. And here we are looking at a 25 year old Philip Jorgensen. You can see he's now at 40 caps for the Swedish national side and it, the down arrows are here this time. Uh, but we'll take a look and see what's actually been going on. His value has dropped to between 5.4 and 7.4 million. He's now considered a backup for Barcelona which is not what we wanted to see. Um, progress wise... Let's take a look. Everything's going up, although teamwork's went down a wee bit. You know, pace, agility, acceleration, no, not great. 
first touch, you know, not not the most important thing, but since we began, a lot of things have been going up in the right areas. Um, positions up to 16, brilliant. Uh, we'd like to see a few more greens in the next couple of years. Team really kick on. And we'll just take a look and see how he's gone since that season. So, the fourth season, 49 games, 37 conceded, 24 clean sheets in total. And then the most recent season gone, 58 games played, 57 conceded, and 27 clean sheets. We're going to take our final jump forward to the end of season 10 and see if he's managed to reach his potential, if he's still even playing for Barcelona, and if he's won any trophies at the end of his career. So we'll jump ahead right now. Here we are 10 seasons into the future with a 30-year-old Philip George Jensen, now capped 84 times with the Swedish national team, valued between 45 and 60 million, considered an important player for Barcelona. That's exactly what we wanted to see and what we expected to see at the start. Take a quick look at the development overall, see how he's been doing in that time. So, as you can see, aerial reach up by 5, command of area 1, communications up to 17, handling 16, kicking 15, reflexes up to 16. A lot of his mental attributes have went up massively, which is great. Great to see his concentration up to 15, decisions at 14, positioning up to 18, absolutely brilliant. And then his physicals, so his agility is up to 17, perfect for a goalkeeper, jumping reaches up to 16, and then a couple of 13s. The only thing that's really let him down there is his stamina and his strength. Now, we'll take a look and see how he's got on in the last five seasons. So, 56 games played, 37 conceded with 30 clean sheets. 60 games, 61 conceded with 23 clean sheets. 52 games played, only 37 conceded this year with 27 clean sheets. 25 clean sheets in 52 games, we conceded 41. And in the most recent season, 28 clean sheets with 48 conceded in 61 games. So I've rounded up the numbers here and in total for Barcelona, he has played 533 games, conceding 455 goals and keeping 248 clean sheets when you look at them i think that's a pretty good layout especially for eight million pounds what we'll do is we'll take a quick look and see his career milestones see if he's won any awards any trophies so a lot of these are team of the week you know stuff that's not very important um but I've noted them down from earlier, so he won the UEFA, he was in the UEFA Dream Team 2028, where are we? Uh, Champions League Dream Team, he also won the Golden Glove in 2028, he won the Champions League Best Goalkeeper of the Season 2028, and then the 2030 season he won, where are we? The Spanish First Division Goalkeeper of the Year, and, you know, he's in a lot of Team of the Weeks, Team of the Months, things like that. And in terms of trophies, We'll take a look at his biography and we'll see here. He has won La Liga four times in the 2026, 27, 30 and 32 season. Won two Champions Leagues, Barcelona in 2028 and 2032. A UEFA Super Cup in 2028. The Copa del Rey in 2029, 2031 and 2032. And the Spanish Super Cup in 2027 and 2028. So in total, that's 12 trophies won. And these all 12 of these trophies came between 2026 and 2020. 32 and that included the treble in 2032 the most recent season where we can see runner up in the super cup they won the spanish copa del rey they won the champions league beating Bayern Munich 3-1 and they won la liga 11 points clear of real madrid on 100 points so there we have it that is philip george Enson, 10 years into the future an 8 million pound outlay what do you think? Do you think he's worth the £8 million and has he developed as you thought he would? Let's actually check. He is now up to his potential ability of 160. So this is like the best Philip George Jensen you can get. I think he's a great player. Maybe not top, top tier goalkeeper. However, he has won numerous trophies for Barcelona, including helping them win the treble in the most recent years. So if you like the video, please comment down below if you've enjoyed it, if you would sign Philip George Jensen and what wonder kids you would like to see next. And as always, please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next week.